All right, we're the only game in town today. So we're the RECO mission. Heading out to Hurricane Dorian. In Florida, flight NOAA 42 is moments from takeoff. Plane side, I'm ready. This is America's primary asset in forecasting how a storm will behave. The P-3 Hurricane Hunter, an airborne weather station that flies right into the storm. Taking with it one of our cameras. We march into the storm and we directly measure things that can't be measured any other way. 042 on departure, turn left heading 180, runway 27, cliff takeoff. Their mission is to fly through the eye, to pinpoint Dorian's exact center, and gather data essential for forecast accuracy. Radio sensors dropped from the plane called SONS are the only way to get vital readings from inside a storm. Good course, good speed. After three hours airborne, the target is in sight. So is that Dorian out there at the 10 o'clock? That it would be. Up 10 more miles. We'll get set up on a line and we're going to try to find the eye of the storm. Inside 30 seconds. Roger, 30. See you about what's coming up. Ten seconds. The wind speeds start to come up. We get bumped around a fair bit, and then you start to hit the eye wall. Here we go, here we go. Which is essentially this wall of precipitation. The eye wall is where a hurricane's winds are at their most powerful. One of the motors is right out my window, and the rain is so intense that I can't see the motor, and it's not a meter out my window. It's phenomenal. The rain impacts the propeller with so much force, it pits the metal. Once we're inside of the eye wall, we actually follow the winds. And when they get to zero knots, that is the center. Yep. Okay, we're going into it now. The most critical thing of every mission is fixing the center. Our center in the turbulence. When we do, we drop a sond. Release sond. Sond is away. There you go. Steady on 045. Every successive drop recorded a lower pressure. Three, two, one. Which clearly highlighted to us that Dorian was intensifying. Release on. Sound is away. The flight's data is beamed straight to the National Hurricane Center, where the new information confirms that the threat from Dorian is escalating. And we're forecasting Dorian to go on and become a major hurricane now within the next 24 hours. Uh, that's category three, four, or five on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. At category four, a hurricane's potential for destruction is 200 times greater than at category one. And as it advances across the ocean, the prospect of Dorian making landfall looks ever more certain talking about the life-threatening storm surge and winds in the northwestern Bahamas, the potential for devastating winds and storm surge along the Florida uh, East Coast, a potentially catastrophic hurricane event in portions of the Bahamas and Florida. 